Welcome to raigurudev.com. In this video, we will discuss about Jira query language that is GQL. So let's understand the agenda of this session. Then we'll move further with practical demo. So we'll discuss here what is GQL, how to use GQL, basic and advanced search mechanism. Field operator value and keyword. At the end, I will show you with practical demo. So, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with basic search or advanced search first. So, whenever we are talking about the advanced search, advanced search contains field operator value. In keyword type of search mechanism where we are providing the search criteria with field or with operator or with value at the end we are adding the keyword as well according to our needs then whenever we are talking about advanced search advanced search is always done by GQL that is Jira query language. So GQL stands for Jira query language and is the most powerful and flexible way to search for any particular issue in Jira. JQL is used by everyone like developers, testers, agile project managers and business users. So searching Jira, how do we start? So, we here in Jira login credential, whenever we are searching for any particular issue, we have to enter the issue name or epic name or any of feature name which you are looking for. So, just like search for JDP2 to underscore 21. So, once you search, this feature will be available here. But if you are looking for any particular content or with advanced query detail then you have to do that by adding jql query so in the search section go to all issues so select all issues and you are able to see the basic query mechanism is available here in this once you click on the switch to jql that is jql will provide you order by a created description the esc that is descending descending order you can also add asc that is for ascending order you can change the parameter according to our need so here this is a particular issue type which we are looking for for all the issue which we are listing here you can change the detail view or for least view so detail view looks like this and for least view looks like that so you can share this as well and if you want to open in Excel on in google sheet that is also possible to uh, do that or import or export it according to your need so whenever we are searching for any specific issue you can select the issue type or in the search mechanism when you are clicking on you can search for the board as well, projects as well. You can apply the filter and if you are looking for the person or the people who is working inside your project, that is also possible to do that. So basically, GQL is used for the advanced query language. In So let's understand the basics of uh, basic and advanced search. I have already created two sessions, one for the basic uh, search in Jira and one for advanced search in Jira. So there are two types of searches in Jira, basic and advanced. So I've already created that video. I will mention the URL in description tab. From there, you can refer it. So here, whenever we are talking about any project specific, uh, issue specific status and assignee, basic search can be useful for getting a high level view of any issue. Advanced search will help you to understand using in the form of queries, Queries are series for soft simple elements strung together to form a form a complex 
queries. So, for confirming or creating the query, query will need four components: one field, operator, value, and keyword. Field is nothing but fields are different types of information in the system. That is, Jira fields include priority, fixed version, issue type, etc. Operator will contain equal to, not equal to, less than, etc. Values are the actual data inside the query. They are usually the item for which we are looking for. Keywords are specific words in the language that have special meaning in the the post that will focus on and and or conditions. So here let's search for any issue which returns all the status. So we can form the query here status status not equal to not equal to to do to do once i search for this query we are able to see whatever feature of uh, issue already done status or other than to do status will be populated for us so this is searching with the operator which we you can also use it greater than less than or uh, greater than or equal to these are the formats which we are creating so let's uh, understand keywords to know so atlassian has created jql references where we can find all keywords operator etc that can be used in jql this is our go to guide when we want to discover new search capabilities like and or or if is used for the query so just like written all issues that have no descriptions is the query if we want to search it so description is empty description is empty we are looking for so search this and now you are done so whatever defects or apk is having no description that file is populated here so this is all about how to generate jql and use that query we can also use it for our searching for a member or the person who is working in our team or reported by so any any type of functionality we can use it inside the jql so that's all about jira query language in jira hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching